Hello, Google Lunar X Prize fans. I'm coming to you from the Isle of Man, nestled in between England and Ireland, where we brought together 13 of our 23 team leaders for the fourth Google Lunar X Prize Team Summit. We're just finishing up a session right now as I film this, where our teams have been presenting not only to us in the media, but to their direct competitors, telling them things about how their team is structured and about the innovative technologies and systems that they'll be using to capture the Google Lunar X Prize. It's just one in a long string of demonstrations of how incentivized competitions can bring about uh, really wonderful breakthroughs in an open and collaborative sense. We are looking uh, to do prizes where there is a market failure, where there's not something happening otherwise. And with the Google Lunar X Prize, we are looking to extend the commercial sphere to the moon uh, to be of real benefit, uh, not just to business, but to the planet. This is, at $30 million, the largest international incentive prize ever offered. To win the prize, all, all one has to do is be a pri privately funded venture that lands a robot on the lunar surface has that robot move around in a controlled fashion for at least a, a half a kilometer, about a third of a mile, and send back high definition video and high resolution still images. This will, with all likelihood, be the first time any robot has operated on the lunar surface since the final Soviet mission in 1976. Uh, for the most part today, we're going to be hearing with the leaders of a lot of the teams that are competing for the Google Lunar X Prize. You all must know that uh, the Moon 2.0 was two participants, the United States and the USSR. Now it's two, uh, 23 participants. I know you personally are very interested in history, and if I remember correctly, you're uh, attracting a lot of veterans from previous Russian efforts to go to the moon and other places to your team, is that correct? Absolutely, and now we have people that uh, want to join our team and uh, that people um, uh, were take participation in uh, the previous uh, space program of Soviet Union and the Russian program, so I hope that they will come and they will share the experience and it will be very useful for our team. I'm here with Tim from the Rocket City Space Pioneers and Tim, you represent the newest team in the competition. You've just had a chance to size up your competitors. Uh, what did you think of them? I thought they were a real cool bunch of guys. I think they're uh, visionaries. They've all got different angles. They've got different ideas for how to do this. It's a really unique uh, bunch of guys and I'm really excited to be part of a, yet another X Prize. So you were involved in the Ansari X Prize, and at least a little way I think I can safely say. How do you think this competition compares? Uh, I think it's pretty, I think it's more challenging in many ways than the, uh, than the original Ansari X Prize. What's been the reaction among the residents here on the aisle to being invaded by all these commercial lunar explorers this week? They think it's great, they really do. You know, it's say the great thing about the Isle of Man is the, the innovation that uh, is shown and um, where people see commercial opportunities, the chance for partnerships to work with people, they'll go for it. I'm here with Alex from Seabase Open Moon. Alex, we just finished up your first team summit. Uh, what did you think of the event? Uh, it was great, very exciting, a lot of new ideas. I was astonished to see that we are all on the same track, and this is very good. So the fans you've already got and the people who become fans, uh, if they want to help out the team, is there anything that they can do? Yes, of course. Of course, um, they can do whatever they want. We don't uh, need not just um, um, experts or, or space engineers. We, we need people who say this is a good idea and, and to understand that, that we are shaping the future and that they can give their part. And, and even if they are artists, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Anyone and everyone brings us one step nearer to the moon. That's fantastic sentiment. I think we'll end right on that. So thanks so much for coming. I'm glad you had a good time. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for being fans of the program. And please keep watching for some video clips with a few of our teams.